let's talk about the question number 16 if one can induce parthenocarpy through the application of growth substances that means growth hormones of a plant which is known as phytohormones the hormones of a plant are known as phytohormones which fruit would you select to indu induce parthenocarpy and why all right so to answer this first of all we have to know what is parthenocarpy parthenocarpy is the formation of fruit without fertilization we know that in case of angiospermic plants or flowering plants fruit forms after fertilization after fertilization the ovary gets converted into fruit as well as simultaneously the ovule get converts into seed but in some cases what happens fertilization does not occur but even then the fruit forms so when fruit forms without fertilization that process is known as parthenocarpy and in case of parthenocarpy that means when fruit is developing without fertilization the fruit would be seedless there is no formation of seed in case of parthenocarpy and the fruits developed from this technique parthenocarpy are known as parthenocarpic fruits all right now if you talk about the second part of this question then what kind of substances or what kind of these things which can be induced into plants to obtain parthenocarpic fruits so we know that first of all parthenocarpy is a natural process it can occur on its own in plants also we can induce parthenocarpy with help of some phytohormones the hormones of plants are known as phytohormones so what is parthenocarpy parthenocarpy is the formation of fruit without fertilization the seeds are known as parthenocarpic fruits as well as they are seedless they are not having seeds these kind of fruits are known as parthenocarpic fruits this parthenocarpy can occur on by own that means it can be natural and it can be induced by some phytohormones all right so it can be induced by some phytohormones next if we talk about what fruits or what kind of things you can which fruits would you choose to induce parthenocarpy so uh, oranges lemons leeches these are the fruits into which we can induce parthenocarpy these leeches oranges and lemons could be potential fruits to induce parthenocarpy because these fruits if the if we induce the parthenocarpy there will be no seed in them and they will be more more much appreciated if we induce parthenocarpy in oranges lychees or lemons or any fruit with having seeds or so many seeds if we induce parthenocarpy in these kind of fruits then people which people will much appreciate it people will much appreciate it because after parthenocarpy after inducing parthenocarpy into them the fruit will be seedless and hence they are much appreciated by the consumers this is why we induce the parthenocarpy thing into fruits so let's write the answer of this first of all what is parthenocarpy we will write parthenocarpy so parthenocarpy is the formation of fruits without fertilization without fertilization all right hence the fruits because there is no fertilization so the fruits will be seedless the fruits will be seedless there is no formation of seeds in them all right it can be natural parthenocarpy carpy can be natural and also can be induced can be induced in some fruits by some 
phyto hormones by some phyto hormones all right now what are the fruits in which we can induce parthenocarpy that is oranges lemons and lychees oranges lemons lychees could be could be potential fruits potential fruits to induce to induce parthenocarpy why is it so because these seedless varieties seedless varieties of fruits the seedless varieties of these fruits would be much appreciated much appreciated by consumers by consumers all right so this is the reason why we induce parthenocarpy in some of the fruits because they are much appreciated by consumers and we can induce parthenocarpy artificially with the help of some phytohormones or it can occur naturally in some of the fruits i hope you get the answer of question number 16 this is the complete solution of it